Hi guys, welcome to yet another video on my channel and today I'll be talking about sinking funds. What they are, why they're helpful and which sinking funds my family and I currently have running. So if you're interested in this, please keep watching. fund is basically just little savings that you start creating for an expense that you know is coming say months down the line or it may even be years or a year or two down the line so every single month you get prepared for this expense that you know is coming by allocating little amounts of money building towards an amount that you know you're gonna have to fund this expense with so if an emergency fund solves a problem of a large expense that you didn't anticipate think of a sinking fund as solving a problem of a large expense that you know is coming an example may be you know you have a large trip coming that you will not be able to fund just out of your monthly income you start saving towards this trip months in advance so that by the time this trip arrives you are prepared it's not gonna throw you out of budget it's not gonna cause you to go further into debt so why are sinking funds helpful sinking funds are helpful especially in this program because the whole program or Dave Ramsey's whole philosophy is that you become free of all forms of consumer debt and you stay out of debt so I find that they're helpful because we have a culture of you know if you can't afford something you run to your credit card you put it on a credit card or you get a personal loan for it which puts you in debt which is what we're trying to avoid so a sinking fund will help you be prepared in advance for any form of expense that you know is coming so it's also helpful in that when you live on a budget like we do uh, if a, an expense or a large expense that arrives that we were anticipating that we know is coming it doesn't throw us out of budget and when that expense arrives we are prepared so I found that sinking funds are greatly helpful so my family and I have some sinking funds running at the moment and the first one is as you know we are on a baby step number one which is to save up a baby emergency fund so I take this or I will treat this as a, as a sinking fund because every single month from our monthly income we'll allocate a certain amount of money towards um, trying to build up this emergency fund so we are trying to come up with a baby emergency fund of 15,000 so monthly we make sure we take out a portion from our monthly income to put towards this in baby emergency um, baby emergency fund sinking fund so the second sinking fund that I have currently running it's for my kids clothing so you won't find a line in my budget for clothing necessarily every month because I don't buy my kids clothes every month but what I do is because I like to buy them clothes seasonally I will start allocating a small portion from my from our monthly income towards the kids um, clothing sinking fund so because I buy the clothes seasonally and winter rolls around I know that I'm prepared I have some money allocated just for this so that after I buy them the winter clothing I start all over again I start little by little funding the sinking fund for other coming season the third sinking fund that we have it's for kids birthday so I want to be prepared when it's it's my kids birthdays generally as adults in the house we generally don't make a big deal out of our own birthdays but the kids birthday are a big deal in the house and I want to make sure that I at least can afford to throw them a party that they can enjoy with their, with their friends or if it's not a party some little celebration that we can do as a family without again that getting us out of budget well, that's another sinking fund our kids birthday so by the time that birthdays are all around I'm prepared I have been putting money towards making sure that whatever it is we want to do for them we can do that comfortably another thing that we also like building a sinking fund for is our anniversary so we're really not big on Valentine's Day we don't make a big deal out of our birthdays and like you know if you caught my last video you know that we don't really don't eat out much so that means our date nights are taking a hit as well so 
because we'll be celebrating our ninth year this December, we have started having a little bit of a sinking fund. Those are the sinking funds we currently have running. We have a sinking fund to try to build our emergency fund and we have a sinking fund for my kids clothing so that I can comfortably buy them clothing every single season. We also have a sinking fund for their birthdays so that when their birthdays roll around, I can comfortably throw a party for them without feeling restricted or without it taking us out of a budget. And we have a sinking fund for our anniversary which comes in December. So thanks again for watching guys. Please leave a comment in the section below. If you yourself do sinking funds, you may not call them sinking funds, but if you do have savings that you do every year for an expense that you know is coming. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my uploads. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.